welcome to our You Are Come Live tour of Hots Hall. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Matea Jones. I'm a senior here at the University of Arkansas. I'm majoring in food science. I'm from Frisco, Texas, so if you're from Texas, say hey. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna show you guys around Hots Hall today and the surrounding area. And then behind the camera today is gonna be Courtney, so I'll let her introduce herself. Good morning guys, my name is Courtney Salsby. Um, I'm also a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to begin my sophomore year as a nursing major and I'm from Fayetteville, so please ask us questions. Um, I'll be seeing all you guys' questions during the live video. Um, feel free to ask us anything about the building or the campus and we'll be happy to answer those for you guys. So yeah, so we're in Hot Hall, so we're on the north side of campus. Um, so around you is going to be the quads, uh, Northwest Quads, which is B, C, uh, Harding, and Gatewood Hall. So if you're living there, you'll be real close by. Uh, if your friends are there, you can always pop over, say hi after they come get you. Uh, there's also going to be the Maples, um, East, South, and West. And they're also going to be real close to your um, dining hall option, which is Fulbright Dining Hall, which is in the quads. So you can, that's where you'll eat your meals at if you wanna, don't want to go too far or like across campus. And if you want some more information on our dining halls, there's going to be a live stream on Facebook later this week. So be sure to check in for that. Um, also close by, we're going to have our bookstore area. So there's a bookstore, a subway, a small mart, which is what we call it, the smallest Walmart in the world. Mm -hmm. So if you need like soap or cereal, things like that, that Walmart is real close by across the street. Uh, ice cream, pizza. I remember we had lots of late nights where we popped over there before it closed because we wanted some food. Uh, it's a great option and we're very fortunate to have it on campus. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. And so we'll go inside now and show you guys around the lobby of HOTS. And if you guys have any questions, please let us know. We'll love to answer them. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today. We've got 21 viewers already. So a security feature that we have here on campus is going to be our FOB system. It makes sure that everyone is safe. So in order to get into a building, you have to have the FOB for the building. That means that you live there or you're with someone who lives there. So if you have a friend that you want to come visit you, you have to come get them from the lobby and bring them up yourself. So you can't just walk into the building. And you'll get this when you arrive on campus. So when you walk into POTS, you're going to see immediately um, the kitchen area and then the game area. So that's where you're going to have your ping pong, your pool table. Um, there are lots of ping pong tournaments here. It's a big deal. Um, I've lived here for three years and I still don't know how to play. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember I lived here my freshman year, so it was a really great experience. Uh, but we would always come down here and play. There'd be, you know, like I call next, I call winner. So it's a great thing. It's a great community builder. So. You know, if you're into it, you should come down. If you want to learn, you should definitely come down and try to learn. Does the people bring their own paddles? Yes, they do. Custom professional Custom. paddles. <laughs> uh, Get serious in yes. here. You can check out ping pong tables and paddles from the front desk, which we'll show you in just a little bit. But yeah, so this is going to be the kitchen area. It's a really nice tool. Hots was renovated in 2012. So, you know, like, it's, it's not too outdated, so... Uh, this is going to be your microwave slash your convention oven, which is a really great tool. I made cookies in here freshman year, so it's doable. You can make things in here. Uh, a nice sink, there's some cabin spaces, and then a full fridge and refrigerator. Um, Kristen asked if we can use Walmart gift cards at Small Mart. You can. It's an actual Walmart, like a full-fledged Walmart. It's just in a small space. Yeah. Very convenient. Yeah, it's a great tool. And then Alan said, hello, my hello. daughter will be staying here this year. Yeah, she's going to have a great time. So a seating area, you can eat in here. Um, I know we would do homework down here together, but it's a great space. And then off of the kitchen, we're going to have the theater room. Um, this is one of, the one of two of the only theater rooms on campus. It's a really great thing that you guys get to have for living here. So, you know, treat it well, or they might take it away. That's right there. Take yes. care of this room. Uh, so it's, it has theater chairs, uh, more chairs, and then a really nice TV. Um, we would have lots of screening parties in here, Razorback games. I remember oh, my freshman year, that was the game we had against Ole Miss, 
and it was like that last second thing where they like threw the ball backwards and they ran it. We were in here freaking out. <laughs> Completely freaking out, yelling, screaming, couldn't hear what's happening. This would be we a cool thought place we lost, to do that. But yes, I was sitting right there. <laughs> I remember I was like standing up, everyone was up, it was crazy. But this is a great space to do movie nights, um, just hang with your friends. It's But yeah, treat it well. It's a really great tool that you guys have the opportunity to use. We actually had another question about the Walmart, and it was, can you buy items from walmart.com for our students and have them shipped to this Walmart? Um, I'm not sure since it's such a small space. Um, we'll check back on that with you. Um, and there are um, two other Walmarts, actually, that are super close to yes. campus, so you do have those options There's a well. regular size Walmart and then um, some neighborhood Walmarts that you might be able to ship to. But yes. So as we move further into the building, um, I'll say that a lot of people, by. I'll just mention that yeah. a lot of people um, tend to buy only half of what they need, and then when they yes. get here during move in, that's when they all hit Walmart. So it's a yes. pretty intense yeah. move in period. As and far we're as in well. Northwest yeah. Arkansas, so we're in North shortages of Walmart. So yeah. <laughs> you'll be good. We also have Target, though, and we have other yes. things. So. Yep. so there's a music room here in Hots that we will go into. It's real nice. There's a piano, a drum set, and an electronic drum set, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice. Uh, if you're talented, like I'm not, this would be a great place to practice. Yeah, it's soundproof, so you won't have to really bother anyone. Uh, but it's a great tool to use. So if you have some talent, maybe come down here, <laughs> put on a little show for people, uh, show them what you can do. But yeah. So since this is the honors um, freshman hall. Studying is really important here, so you'll, you'll find that there are a lot of different study spaces that you can have in here. So take advantage of it, get to know people, study, group study, by yourself, whatever it takes, but get it done. So we're going to walk into our letters room, affectionately because the Hots Leathers live in here, <laughs> uh, and we're going to meet her. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Michelle King and I am the assistant director of the PAL program in the Honors College and yes, we are in the letter room like Matea said, this is a great place for students to actually study. And there's going to be a lot of spaces here in HOTS where students can do that, but this is also a great place for students to actually build community and really get to know one another. And speaking of community, we have a lot of different events that are going to be going on here in HOTS. Um, for one, we have the Gingerbread House competition every year, which happens all over HOTS, but this is actually one of the rooms that's also used in the process. So you can do like Star Wars themed or Harry Potter themed gingerbread competitions, which is really cool. I actually got to be one of the judges once, so make sure you build them well. Maybe I'll come back as a judge in the future. Do you get to taste them when you're the judge? Or you no? know, I didn't get to taste it. You know, there's a lot of handwork going sure. on in there, um, <laughs> but you know, feel free to test out your own gingerbread house mm -hmm. um, and see if it tastes good. Um, but yeah, that's one of the most awesome opportunities here to just kind of have fun. We have an ice cream social that also happens throughout HOTS where we have different table setup students can learn more about getting involved with volunteering so they can get signed up for that there'll be a booth there to learn more about research to learn more about the honors program in general but also to learn more about studying abroad and so if y'all didn't know it you can start studying abroad during the summer after your freshman year here in the honors program as long as you have completed six um, honors credit hours in your program and so you can study abroad for a semester or for a summer or even for a year which is fantastic and you can go more than once so if y'all didn't know that uh, there are students that go you know two or three times before they graduate from the honors program and there's a lot of funding for grants we give out over seven hundred thousand dollars in grants um, annually or at least in this past year for studying abroad and you can get around 40 percent of the eligible program costs covered to go abroad as well and some other cool events that we have is dinner with the dean so networking is going to be really important in college you'll get to meet the honors college dean the associate dean in the honors college but also get to meet the deans from the different academic colleges around campus as well um, so i could tell you all about some more yeah. events we have health and wellness <laughs> events um ask questions as we go along but there'll be events revolving around doing things like yoga and learning how to cook and learning how to adult in college all of those things that are really important and then we can talk about p3 when we get to area where one of my happens. favorite programs my freshman year yeah. Oh, yes. yeah so i remember i would spend so much time down here 
Um, they called us the lobby dwellers because we basically stayed down here all night. <laughs> but it was a really great time. I really enjoyed my time here. But we'll show you guys some more areas in this lobby because it's so big, so many spaces to hang out. So we'll come out here and we'll visit our patio area, which is really nice. And you know, when it's nice weather outside. Like today. Actually, we have nice weather today. Yeah. It's amazing. so nice today. Uh, it finally cooled off a little bit here in Fayetteville, so it's manageable, manageable to be outside. <laughs> yeah. But nice little patio furniture, um, some chairs, some tables out here if you want to study. But yeah, and then P3 is out here, and it was such a great program, but I'll let Michelle talk about it some more. Yeah, so P3 also stands for Professor and Pete's on the Patio. It's one of the events that we'll have every year. All freshmen honor students are welcome to come to this event, so keep that in mind. But basically a different professor from a different academic background will come every month and talk about their experiences, not only with their research, but also with kind of like what they do, what they study. Um, they'll also help you all get more informed about research and the process and get things checked off on your actual research checklist. So you'll get a better understanding of what that looks like and what that will be like as you get ready to go into junior year and actually start working on that research and you might even get to take part in one of their research projects very early on so um, again networking and finding those opportunities possibly earlier is going to be a really nice part about taking uh, part or attending this program yes plus there's pizza there you <laughs> go pizza is a must on the call campus right yes so you can be out here there's programs besides that up here that you're already able to you're already are your new best friends. Um, speaking from experience, I was an RA for two years, so get to know your RAs. They're really nice. They're really here to help you. They're also um, held to the same academic standards that you are as an RA in this building, so they understand. They can help you. They've been in those classes, so you know, use them to your advantage. Yes. Um, we'll head back inside and show you some more of the common spaces that are here um, in Hops. There are a lot of common spaces. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Sorry, some more security. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Hots has a very nice fireplace. It's double sided, so in the cold months, you can come down here, chill by the fireplace. Your RAs will probably have you know, like a program with hot cocoa, or coffee, some tea. Um, so yeah, you, we violated security for a second, so it's close. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's a great place to hang out. Also, did homework down here. I did almost all of my homework down here. Rarely did it in my room, but study with people was a good way for me to study. Um, off of this little room is going to be our vending machine area. Um, you can use cash, card, Apple Pay, Android Pay, get some snacks, a drink one, and then the ice machine is also down here. So if you need some ice, it's right here. Um, recycling is a big thing for this building. They're really into sustainable practices. So there's going to be a lot of recycling in this building. We'll show you when we get up to the floors, but won't have an excuse to not recycle because it's everywhere. Yes. Where's everybody from? Who's watching? It's a yes. lot of people. Courtney's from Arkansas. I'm from Texas. Michelle is all the way from California. <laughs> so, you know, we're off all over the place. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be the front desk area. Um, this is where you already will sit during the, uh, at night when you're here. And this is going to be a desk assistant. Hello. Hello, how are you? Great, how are you? Um, this is where you will get, uh, you won't get your mail here, you'll get your mail over in Maple Hill South, which is next door. That's also where you get your packages. But this is a great tool. If you're locked out, your RAs, you can meet your RA down here, and then they can help you get back into your room. But yes, if you lose your keys, you have to go to the South, so try not to lose your keys, because <laughs> then you have to walk all the way next door. But yes. We've got Jessica from McKinney, Texas on here. Hey. <laughs> We've got people from Jonesboro, right next door. Phoenix, Hot Springs, Conway. Some more study spaces. So, um, show the little library right here. Oh yeah. So there's a little free library here in the building. So you can donate a book, take a book, um, but it's a really nice take space. Take a penny, leave a penny, huh? Yep. Yeah. That's yes. kind of the thumb rule of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I used this freshman year for a book I needed for a class I found on here. So that was a really great thing, but you guys should definitely donate to it or add to it. It's a really great tool, and we would love to, for it to continue on. Yeah. Where else are we? We've got Tyler, Texas, Conway, Lake Village, Arkansas. 
my freshman year as a lead hog, which is another great opportunity you guys here have here to join lead hogs and be a part of your campus and hall community. We had a big NCAA tournament bracket that we put up here. <laughs> it was ginormous. It took a lot of math and engineering to figure out how to space those accordingly. It was laid out here, it took us forever, but we did it and it got put up. <laughs> yes, awesome. this is gonna be our computerless computer lounge. It's where students can study, hang out. Um, some lead hogs events might be held in here, but it's a really great place. You can, there's lots of plugs and ports. There's a nice TV in there if you need to plug in and do a presentation, but you guys should really use it. These doors close, so if you need quiet, Sorry, we're interrupting your quiet. <laughs> um, you can always close them and get some work done, but yeah. Uh, again, we still have more of this building and the lobby space to cover, because there's so much study space. So this is also a nice little lounge area. There's a nice TV. You can plug in your game systems up here and play with your friends down here. Um, we watched the, MT the MTV Video Awards my freshman year down here. All piled around this TV and watched it together these nice cool chairs that you can be in. I had a hard time getting down there and getting back up, but that's because <laughs> I'm horrible about, you know, gracefully getting out of those chairs. Mateo, may I add that yes. these ergonomics chairs are actually perfectly shaped for the gamer. So anybody that's a gamer, it puts their body in the correct posture so nice. that they can comfortably play video that's games. That's good to know. That's the fun fact about it. <laughs> and it looks so, like a person, really. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Cradling your body. We did have a question from Alan asking if there's a printer in this building. There is not a printer in this building, but the closest computer lab for printing is going to be in full bright dining hall, right across from the dining hall. So you can go in there. I think it closes at 11 p.m. So if you're up late and to print something, you don't have to go all the way to the Union or to Mullins to print. You can just head in there. Uh, very in the close quad, to here. Right? Yes, in the quad. Um, this is another study space that we have. Um, for group study work, if you need to be a little by yourself, there is a nice whiteboard wall in here, so you can write all over this wall with expo markers and you know, get your work done, space out everything, plan. Um, it's a really great tool. Highly encourage you guys to come in here and use it. Get here early, because if you get here late, it's probably in use. <laughs> yeah. Definitely during finals week. Yes, finals <laughs> week, the study spaces in all these buildings become very hard to come by. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you're studying in early, get there early to get some work done. Um, as we move down this hallway, you're going to run into your um, resident hall director's office. So if you need something, she's a great resource for you. Um, we call them CREs? Yes, we call them CREs, Coordinated for Residence Education. So she's a great tool for you guys to get to know. Um, she is very helpful, um, so really get to know her. And then down here is going to be the gym. So you have to have a fob and live in this building to use this gym. But it's a really great tool, so you don't have to go all the way down to the hyper, which is probably about a 15 minute walk from here, or to the union, which is probably about five to 10 minutes, depending on how fast you walk. Yes, there's weights, a treadmill, elliptical. I think they're putting some new machinery in here, so it'll look a little bit different when you guys get here in the fall, but a TV if you want to work out and watch the news. But yeah, it's a great tool. Highly encourage you guys to use it. Does anyone have any other questions? Not yet. Okay. But yeah, so you have to live here to use it, but uh, it's a great tool for you guys who do live in this building. So, I think we'll see the laundry. We got laundry, yeah. So I'm then, from El Dorado, yes. uh, Arkansas, and then according to you're from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yes. Uh, what would you say is like the, one of the first things you need to do in Fayetteville when you move here? Like outside of the school? Um, outside of the school, well, really close by is Dixon Street, which has a, a lot of good um, restaurants. They have some mm -hmm. local food trucks there that are really cool. Oh, I love the food trucks. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, Mount Sequoia is a really cool lookout that a lot of students go to. Oh, okay. Um, it's like there's a curricula, there's just um, a place to picnic. It's a really good view. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 So the, laundry, really nice up there. Yes. the laundry room is going to be down this hall, mm -hmm. um, off the elevator bank, so it's not too bad. Um, there's not laundry on every floor, but there's a big laundry room down on the first floor. I guess for reference, we're on the, I believe, the northeast corner. Yes. So the lights are actually out here, which they're fixing, but 
when you guys get here, it'll be fixed. But you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine washers, and then one, two, three, nine, 18 dryers. So you guys are very fortunate. There's a lot of laundry to do in here. Um, there's a folding table, a little desk if you want to get some work done in here, and then some cubbies if you need to like store something. But we can come out here because it's dark. Um, Elizabeth asked, can we um, get a shot from the front of a washer and explain the cell phone app? Yes. So uh, this is what a washer is going to look right. like. This is the scan here for our app. You want to tell them about Laundry Alert? Yes. So Laundry Alert is a nice app that we have here on campus where you can download the app and set an alert for the specific laundry machine that you're looking for. So every building is going to have a separate section on the app. You just go to the building and the floor that it's on and you can see which machines are in use and which ones aren't. So if you're all the way up on the ninth floor and you need to do laundry like I had to, you can check the app, see which ones were open, come down here, put your laundry in, go back up, and then you can set an alert. It will let you know when it's done so you don't have to wait down here for it. Mm -hmm, that's really nice. It's really nice. And you know, we recommend to use either liquid detergent or pots mm -hmm. for the machines. No powder, please. Um, but yes, you do laundry is included in your fees already, so you don't have to pay for it. So no quarters necessary. It's a really great tool that you've already paid for. Yeah. So use it to your advantage. Do your laundry. Do your laundry. <laughs> Learn how to do your laundry, please. No red shirts or pink shirts that were supposed to be red and white. So. Because there's a lot of red in this school, you'll get a lot of red shirts, you know, figure out how to, how to separate that stuff fast. Candy asked if you can use pods in the washers, and you, yes, can. you can. We recommend them, actually. Yeah, so that's the laundry system. Um, if you guys have any other questions, just let us know. But we'll head up to the floor now and see the bedroom, another study area for you guys, some common spaces, and the bathroom. Uh, oh. So this is where the trash is. So there are chutes on every floor that you can send your trash down. So like, I know it's kind of sneaky, but uh, over here is where the chutes are that you over can here? that come down from every single floor. Oh yeah. And this is also where your recycling goes. Um, awesome. So again, sustainable practices here at the university. Please recycle. Uh, but there's also recycling on every floor. And we're going to uh, the fourth floor now, right? Yes, we are. Oh, let's point out the uh, uh, electronic screen now while we're down here. So uh, another point for the sustainability of this building is that there are going to be no paper flyers in this building. Um, it's just electronic. So there's going to be a lot of programming here on the screen about the things that the Honors College is doing, that your RAs are doing, things like that. So check it out when you come in. There's ones on floors also, so check those out when you're waiting for an elevator. Yeah, it's a great tool. Please read them. They work really hard for those. So, you know, check them out. It'll be a great thing to get involved on campus with different things and with the Honors College. And I believe that this, to my right, is the parking lot that you guys will be using yes. during move-in. So this is where the resident reserve parking lot is for this building. Um, and this is where you guys will come during move-in. So you'll come through this door, and this is the front desk. Um, the big yeah. map. We don't need to ask, like, a lot there. But. Yes. So it's really close, really great parking if you do have resident reserve, if you did get on that list. So let's go to one of the residential floors. Yeah, that's good. Um, there, are also com there are bathrooms on this floor as well. So you don't have to go all the way up to your room. Yes, right now there are a lot of camps and things in and out of this building, so um, we can't go to the top floor and show you guys that view, but it's really nice. What You're floor are you lucky. on? I was on the ninth floor, 921. Oh, the yes, okay. I had a great view of the stadium and you know, like, Crossfadeville. It was really nice. That was my the, favorite part. Was the yes. View. Oh, it was such a pretty view. The sunsets, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll show you guys the fourth floor because it doesn't have any students on it right now. But um, the floor, like the floor plans, will be like, kind of the same going up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a lot of study space on these floors. So, so. much study space. Oh, it's been really awesome. I miss that. So you almost never studied in your room? I've never. Uh, I get distracted in my room mm -hmm. by all of my things. I agree. So if I'm out of my room, I can get distracted by my room. So um, we're going to show you guys this kind of wall space. Yeah. Um, each floor is going to have a theme when you guys arrive. And it will be present right here that your RAs will have worked very hard for. So please don't tear them down. Uh, but yes, 
each will have a theme that you guys can bond over. The Charis. Um, we'll the choose. The ninth-floor theme was Pac-Man. Yes. And there were like lots of power pellets and ghosts and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Ellen said my daughter's going to be living on nine. Yes, ninth floor is the best floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but this is going to be a common space right off the elevated lobby. There's a TV, some couches, some chairs. Um, cable is included in all of these rooms, and especially in your room. So you'll have HBO and a slew of other channels that you can use. So all you have to do is bring your TV and just plug in. What room did you say that you lived in? 921. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth said our daughter will be living in and 921. That's for her. <laughs> it's the best. That's and there's awesome. also a, another study space over here. There's a great plug, so you can plug in your computers, things like that. But you have a great view, like the parking lot area in Cleveland. Um, yeah, that will be your parking lot. And as long as you're talking about cable, I should mention that Cox has an app called Contour. Okay. And that's one that you, I'm telling you something. Uh, <laughs> and that's the one that you can download once you get to campus, and you can actually stream your TV on your devices. I didn't know that. Hmm, that's new. It's a new thing. That's, that's nice. Cool. Yeah. We'll come down here and show you guys the bathroom, and then we'll head towards the study rooms, and then finally the actual room. So on every floor, there is going to be two of these, one on each side. It's a water bottle filter. We're really proud of it. It helps us save plastic. In the past five years, um, between all the residence halls, we saved like 130 tons of plastic from being like put into a landfill. So please use it. Bring a reusable water bottle and just filter your water. Yeah, that's an item that should be in your top three. Yes. Fresh clothes, water bottle. Um, this is a bathroom. It's going to have a shower, a sink, and a toilet. It's just outside of like the main bathroom area. Um, and then this is going to be your main area, which is where you guys will be. Four seats, um, three toilets and shower areas, and then one just shower area. Yes. These are very nice because the door goes all the way down, and it will let you know when it is locked. So you'll know like which bathrooms are open and which ones aren't. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah this so is just a the shower that we'll see. Yes. So this is going to be the shower area. It's a really nice size shower actually. Yep. Lots of space. Um, but yes, you'll have those hooks for you to put your shower kites on, which we highly recommend. Um, yes. It's a great way to like Log all your stuff in here without having to carry it all in your arms. Mm -hmm. Shower caddy, shower shoes, uh, great tools, a robe, shower cap, things like that. <laughs> we did have a request to go into a corner room. Okay. I think we can honor that. Yes. So each floor is a single sex floor. So these bathrooms, like if this is a female floor, this bathroom can only be used by females. And then this outside bathroom right here which will be mixed, is the unisex bathroom. So if you're a male on a female floor, this is your bathroom. Don't go in there, vice versa. Yes. Uh, we'll come down here and show you guys a great tool, a great another study space. If you don't like being downstairs and all the crazy, uh, you can come in here. So this is a end study space. You're going to have whiteboard walls on four different three. So you can use extra markers and just go to town on these. Lots of calculus. Oh, yeah, lots of calculus was done on these walls. Chemistry, biology, whew, history, all types of stuff. So just bring your expo markers and if you need to lay out your life, you can lay out your life. <laughs> yes. Um, you have a, this is Maple Hill South next door. So that is the building where your mail and packages will be. Um, but yes. South, East, and you can't see West, but it's a great tool. Um, highly encourage you guys to use these. Lots of plugs. There's like even a cable box in here. If you need to use the TV, but use them. Study, please, please study, please, 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 please study. <laughs> and you have lots you of mean, which one study. Or what's your favorite tips for studying? Um, I learn what you study best with. So I'm better in a group. If you're better by yourself, you need to learn that and do it by yourself. Um, if you need to write everything out, write everything out. I make very detailed pictures of my stuff um, because that helps me. Because if I put effort into those notes, I will look at them again. If I just scribble them, I'm not going to look at them. Mm -hmm. That's why I know if I care or not. <laughs> um, Jill asked if study rooms are reservable. They're not reservable. They're a kind of case by like, first come, first serve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
but if you get there early, it's yours. And then Kristen asked if they need to set up anything for mail. I believe you'll get an email with all of your mail. You will get an email with your mailbox and your code to it. Mm -hmm. And you can just go check that out when you get here. You can go into this app and see your mailbox and figure out how to open it. But it's really easy. Jahong is the desk admin at South. I'm biased. I lived in South for two years. But he's the best. He's really nice. You get to know him. He's sassy as all get out. <laughs> so Jahong is the great friend who is the controller of your mail. So. Um, Ruth would love to see 428. Um, that, she said my son's living in 228. So right now, now, see if we can't make it. Yeah, we'll go check out the room. Oh, Michelle has something. Oh, I just wanted to plug something about study spaces, too. Obviously, for those of you that live in Hobbs, this will be your home. You'll have lots of study spaces here. But also, the Honors Hall will be located in Gearhart Hall. The best hall. As Matea <laughs> said. And so there's going to be lots of study spaces there. There'll be personalized study rooms that you can actually check out that will have, you know, big TVs in there. If you need to practice presentations, things like that, you can have those or have more focus groups in there. But there'll also be two very large study rooms or study lounges as well that also have just very comfortable couch spaces, oh, lots of couches. tables. Um, students do actually take naps in there sometimes. Every single day. And power naps are going to be very important for college career so you can get through but yes you'll have plenty of study spaces over there as well so when you're on campus you'll be able to utilize those study spaces and they are usually open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on a daily basis so you have lots of time throughout the day to go and visit your heart and I feel like that's a solid 10 minute walk maybe a little bit more yeah, than yeah, 10 kind of minutes right. yeah it's a nice campus it's pretty man take a little stroll take a little stroll if you're in a rush I would say if you're going to do a power walk 10 minutes mm -hmm. the best nap is a 45 minute nap it's the perfect amount of time and those are the best couches so if you have that's where you go <laughs> and during the winter there's a fireplace oh. in there oh, it's the best yeah. sometimes there would be even coffee in there there you go. Yeah. Yours, our winters can be they're mostly mild. They can be a little chilly sometimes. Yeah, so yeah. this is going to be a standard room, which we'll okay. show you. And this is what we'll do the measurements if you guys want to, because this is what most people will have. So you walk in. It's going to be two beds, two wardrobes, um, and under each bed is going to be a set of four drawers, uh, a desk, your desk chair, and a nightstand sort of thing. Um, Kristen asked about packages um, and how a student would know if they have one. You get an email. You will get an email from housing saying that you have a package at that specific desk that you are assigned to for your packages. So you will go there. You can check your mailbox for a key to open a larger package box or go to the front desk and ask to get the package from there. In South, you guys will typically not have the keys in your boxes. You'll just go to the front desk and talk to Jahong and he will get you a package. Um, and then do over the door hooks fit um, on the dorm room door on the wardrobe doors? Um, they should. I believe that they would. Yes. Yes, so this is what the wardrobe looks like. Um, you'll have two separate areas for the hooks to hang things. There's underneath the storage and overhead storage. Um, we have a couple questions. Okay. So someone asked what size TV would you recommend? Um, I did, we didn't have a TV in our room freshman year. Um, there are so many different TVs and spaces in this building that we didn't find it necessary. But I would say no more than 15, 20. Uh, it's really not necessary to have a giant TV in here, nor is there really space. Maybe something that could fit on top. Uh, yeah, you could do a 32 yeah. up there, probably pretty easy. So, Maybe as big as a 40, but I wouldn't go yes. for 40. But I guess if you wanted some more space for a bigger TV, you could loft both beds up um, and have some more space to leave your things underneath your bed mm -hmm. and bring in some more furniture in here. But that's really up to you. I have my bed lofted for a total of two days. <laughs> and then I realized that that was not the lifestyle choice I wanted to make. So I de-lofted my bed. Um, but we kept it about this height and so we could leave things underneath our bed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so we had some more space in the middle and space to have things over here. But um, Bridget asked what size refrigerator would you recommend? Um, a mini fridge, I'm not sure the exact dimensions, but on housing.york.edu you can find specifications for um, like wattages and mm -hmm. cubic, um, inches. cubic inches. Um, and then today I asked if we could go in room 408, the rectangular end room. I'll write it down. Um, can you show the inside of the wardrobe? We'll go ahead and show that again. Yes, so 
So I had um, I had drawer things underneath and above that I kept things in, mm -hmm. and then I would hang things right here. Yeah. Is it possible to not loft your bed and still have enough space for a TV? I guess or just anything. in general. Yeah, like you, this is if you don't loft your bed, this is the amount of space that you guys will have in this room. You could leave. Um, you could probably put things on this. Um, there's areas over there. It's just really up to how much space that you really want in the room mm -hmm. and how you want to make it work. This furniture is movable, so you can configure the room in a different way. I think at one point we had one bed against that wall and it turned the bed this way. So you just have to get in here and figure out how to make it your zen space. Yeah. Your best could, configuration. Could we get a measurement of the wardrobe? Yes. Please. Six inches wide, mm -hmm. and then could we get a measurement of space at the bottom of the wardrobe? So I'm assuming there's little storage boxes. So this one is going to be 22 inches deep. 22 deep. Okay. And then we're going to have about 10 and a half tall. Okay, 10 and a half inches tall. And the one above. It's going to be 12 inches tall, 16 inches deep, and about 17 inches, 16 inches, 16 and a half. Okay, and then um, what height are these beds currently at? We get a measurement of that. Yeah, I should. I about this bed right here? Yes. So, what is that? 36 to the top of the frame? And there's, there is this frame underneath it. Okay, so 36 inches. Yeah. Um, refrigerator size, small or large? Smaller the better, I would say, just yeah. for space purposes. And it really is, um, me and my roommate shared a, a mini fridge. Yeah, we shared a mini fridge and a microwave. We always had like extra space in there. Yeah, you don't use as much as you think you are. You do have your dining meal, your dining meal um, so you don't necessarily need a lot of fridge space unless right. you have some like, dietary restrictions, but there is space for it. And then um, Bridge asked if we would recommend curtains. I don't believe that they're necessary. I didn't bring any in my room because I these are really good. Blinds. These um, lines, they do block out a lot of light. Um, so it does get dark in here. Yeah. You don't necessarily need it. Um, and then can we get a measurement of the mattress frame? The mattress frame is going to be... Like a, for a headboard, so... Okay. Yes. So from end to end, it's going to be 38 inches. 38. And then, can we go ahead and just get the height of the bed frame? Yes. Sixty inches. Sixty. Awesome. And then Hannah asked for a measurement of the window height, please. The window height. So from the top to the bottom. It's going to be 62 inches. 62 inches. It's one of that little recess they have back here, too. There also is this little recess back here. Um, I didn't mind it. I stored stuff back there. Yeah, I did as well. But that's about um, 25 inches of space back behind this window. And then how thick is a mattress? About 7 inches. Yes, they're all about 7 inches. I had a mattress pad um, that was really helpful. Um, it's a great tool. Yes, um, mattress step, that's I'm just trying to make sure three and topper will fit. Oh yeah, a three inch topper, oh, yeah. definitely. Um, 
Is there a drawer that can lock in here? Yes, this is the drawer that can lock right here on this little nightstand desk thing. You can, this is how the lock looks. So if you look inside, there's gonna be this little, that one doesn't have it. Right here. So there's gonna be this little lip um, that when it's locked, it will, so these are not working like they should be. We'll show you guys one that works and get these fixed before you arrive because yeah. these aren't configured. And we have, we have Fix It, which is a service. If you see anything that doesn't work, use housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it and they can submit a maintenance request to have things in your room fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, light goes out, you can fix them, you can go there. Your air conditioning isn't working, you can go there, which is another thing. So these buildings switch over from heating to cooling. So if it's hot outside, you're going to be running cold air. If it's cold outside, we'll switch it to the warm air. Um, so you won't be able to switch back and forth between them. You can just either have it blend hot or cold. But you can turn it so that the air isn't running, so you're not too hot or too right. cold. You can control it within a certain range. Yes. Um, and, and then for the drawers, can we just mention that they have to bring a lock? Yes, you have to bring your own lock, but you can... For when it's working, you would put the lock right here and that would lock the door. Kind of like um, something you can use for a locker. Yes. It's a standard combination standard lock. lock. Um, these drawers are very nice. Um, right so these are these drawers. They're very deep, very long, very useful to store things at. Mm -hmm. We had a question whether or not we had a lofted bed that we could measure from the mattress to the ceiling. We do not have a bed that's lofted as tall as it can be lofted. These beds are somewhat lofted. So they swing from mattress to ceiling like height. Um, so you can do bed frame to ceiling. So this whole frame is about 10 inches tall. So if we're at the ceiling, um, it's at 36 to the ceiling in the top of the bed post right now. So it would be about 26 inches from the ceiling. Okay. Um, let's see. We have some other rooms too that were mentioned, 428, corner room, 408. Yes. There's some more questions in here. Um, window cell depth. At going to be 14 inches. 14 inches. Um, how can we attach a curtain rod to a blackout rods. curtains? Tension rods are going to be your best bet um, to attach things. Um, so you are allowed to use command scripts in these rooms, but you have to be careful because they sometimes have a tendency to peel paint mm -hmm. when you remove them, and you have to remove them at the end of the year. Um, so be careful, less is more. Um, just be aware that if the wall is damaged, you will have to pay for it. Could we get a measurement for um, the tension rod? So the width of the window? I'll hold on one side. Probably go here, right? Yeah. 134. 134 inches. Um, and then for those of you that are worried about drawers that lock, you can actually rent a safe from the university. Um, it's through Collegiate Concepts. You can find that on our moving website, I believe, or housing. Um, but all the information is free. You can rent refrigerators, mini fridges. Um, microwaves and safes yes. on there. Um, Movein.uark.edu, if you haven't been there yet, it's going to be a great tool for you guys to use before you arrive. And then housing.uark.edu is always going to have lots of great information for you guys. Yes. Um, is there a carbon monoxide detector in the rooms or in the building? Yes. So it each is. room is going to come with a um, particle detector. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's going to be this little tool. So that's going to detect any type of chemicals in the air. Um, so if you, you know, are spraying like for breeze really hard, it might set it off and it'll let someone at the front desk know that there is a particle in this room that might be dangerous. Right. It's also your fire detector, your carbon monoxide detector, things like that. And then um, as far as room temperature goes, like you said, you can control it within the range, the building besides, um, you know, heat or air, but you do have some control. I'll show you guys within the room. We'll find that right there. Yeah. So um, this is also like your cable box will be right here. And there's also towel racks for you guys to use to dry your towels. Yes. And then can we look at these chairs? 
They're real nice chairs. <laughs> Very nice. Very flexible. Um, do you have to request to have your bed lofted all the way? Yes. So to request to have your bed lofted, you go to housing.urf.au forward slash fix it mm -hmm. and submit a maintenance request to do it. Yes. In order to get it lofted before you guys arrive, you have to have this done before July 30th. After that, it's really hard to make sure that it gets done because we start moving into move-in prep and our housing staff becomes very busy, so it's hard to get maintenance in here to do it for you. Yes, you can also um, do it yourself if you choose to. I know that's the option that I chose, um, as long as you use rubber mallet. Um, I would suggest bringing your own rubber mallet. So rubber mallets and dollies, if you have them, bring them yourself because um, there's a limited number available in the residence hall. So it becomes really hard to obtain it because mm -hmm. everyone's moving in and everyone's trying to do the same thing at the same time. So if you have your own, you don't have to wait. Um, Elizabeth asks, are these cinder block walls? Yes, they are. Yes. They are. As you can see, um, Kristen said thank you. You're, you're being very helpful. Um, Donna asks, how do we know which rooms are drywall and which are cinder block? So they're going to have cinder block and drywall in each room. Right. Um, and then, let's see, measurement between beds for a rug. From frame to frame, it's going to be about 58 inches. 58. 59. 59. 59. And then do the dorm rooms automatically lock, or do you lock yes. in the inside? So these rooms will automatically lock, so make sure you have your keys on you when you do leave the room. Um, you can use door stops to prop them, but as you need I think have to be closed. You can't raise them to stay open. And then could you kind of um, describe how we differentiate um, part A and part B within the room? So um, it doesn't really matter as much in this room, but when you arrive you have a specific assignment um, like 421A versus 421B. Um, so typically this is going to be your A side and this is going to be your B side. And that just means your bed and your furniture. It's just a little way that we label whose is who. Right, so but we, we kind of allow you to discuss that with your roommate and choose yes. who wants which side. And so if you're A, so say if you're, you're moving out, you are 421A. The RA is going to come and ask which side of the room is yours. It doesn't really matter. You just have to designate that you are taking claim for this portion of the room. Right. So that means that she's going to look at this bed, this mattress, this desk this drawer, that wardrobe, yes, and then look at kind of the space you guys share, um, and then for B student, they'll look at that bed, that wardrobe, that desk. Uh, it matters more in our suite and our apartment style buildings because there are specific rooms, and so there's more damages there. Right, and then Jill asked if we could um, kind of just kind of see what a fob looks like. A fob? Yes. Um, now, the fobs aren't used for your bedroom. You're going to have a separate key for that, I believe. So this is what your fob is going to look like. It's just a little plastic, little disc thing that has like a little electro. Some type of engineering that helps make sure that the building is locked. And right. so this is your key to getting in. Yes, and you'll have a key for your room as well, correct? Yes. So you'll get a keychain when you arrive or a key running with your key to your room and your fob. Awesome. So, a corner room, 428. 428. Mm. I think it's on the other side. Okay. So, we'll come back through the study room. Okay, you guys. Is 422 this a corner room? The stairwell, by the way. Okay. Do you want to just go in there? It's going to be the same. All four corners will be the same room, so we don't yeah, we necessarily have to, to go. There's your fire extinguisher. <laughs> There's also a stairwell right here. Um, if you want to go downstairs, I want to just take the stairs. Oh, someone's room. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> 428 it is. <laughs> so there is one of these study rooms on both sides. Uh, not on both sides, only on one side. Oh, it is on one end? Yes. But they both sides have the one in the middle. Yes. So this is going to be 428. This is going to be your corner room. It's slightly larger. In the room next to it, it's just a little bit more width space. And that looks pretty much the exact same. But yeah. Any other questions about the corner room? 
So far, so good. Okay, so we'll move down towards 408. Um, and any of the rooms? 428. 428, yes. yes. That one was requested. Four rooms, this four. Four. Some of these rooms are occupied, so we have to be a little, be a little wary. Housing. This is room 428, so this is one of the rooms that has a slight cutout in it. This is probably why you guys wanted to see it. Um, but yes. Get a good angle of that. So that is the, the main difference. Yes. It's this little corner. Yep. Can you give them dimensions of that? if there's a corner room with two doors into it? That's going to be our end room that you guys are talking about that has the two doors from each side. The study um, area, is that it? Yes, the study area is going to have the two doors and then the end room is going to have the two doors. Okay. Sure. They're asking to see it, which I think. Yeah, so there's going to be the lounge spaces mirrored on both sides and then the bathroom. show it unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry. But, but as you can see like, the two doors. I feel like in some of the videos in the years past we have walked in there before. Yes. So if you review the 16 or the 17 video of this, and we'll try to link it in the notes, uh, you should be able to see what that layout looks like. Yeah. Sorry guys. Uh, any other rooms? Um, we can try to see what we can go into. I, I think we covered all of them. Let me go. Here's check. another um, fashion. We can sign off right here in the common area here. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Thanks for watching our York Home Live video. Make sure to tune in for the rest of the week. We're going to have a dining hall tour, a campus services, and a health services one. So come back, watch those. Our move-in one is going to be Friday, August 3rd. So if you need some more information about move-in, come see us then. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to ask more questions. Courtney will be going back through and trying to answer you guys' questions, but you can always just contact us for more questions. Anything you want to tell new students? We're excited to have you all here in the fall. Um, it's going to be lots of fun living here in Hots, building that community. So we look forward to it, and thank you all for your time. Yeah, thank you guys yeah. for tuning in. <laughs>